Hello, welcome to Mark's Garage. I'm going to try and dismantle this water pump. Now, with this type of water pump, what you can do, you can just press the shaft and the impeller all the way through the pump. So I'm going to use this piece of round tubing as a spacer there to support the pump. I'm going to put it on the press and just press the shaft straight the way through. Now that is what works for these type of pumps. If you've got this type of pump, you can't do that because this has a, like a ball bearing assembly. I'm not sure even how you do that type of pump. I'm not going to try and do that. Okay, so I'm going to go and put this on the press and I'll bring it back when there's a little bit more to show. Hello, right, I've put the water pump in the press and this is the setup. I've got the end of a cylinder liner there. It's a little bit taller than that piece that I had. And the pump's just sitting there and I've just got a bolt there that I believe is small enough to go down the middle of the pulley. So I'm going to... Here's the, here's the thing. I'm going to pump the handle and, you know, just uh, see if that'll press out of there. So, okay. I'm doing it one-handed because I'm... So I'm giving it a couple of pumps. Three. Four. Boing. Okay. It's gone. So I'm going to keep going. So I'm a bit wobbly. It's a little bit awkward to get a proper camera set up in here, so we're just using the phone. Okay, that's just gone easier now, so I think that's... Okay, so that's just in the pulley now, so I think that bolt is a little bit bigger than what I intended, but... Okay, that's um, got that pressed down now. There we are. There's the shaft. There's the seal. It does actually look, you know, surprisingly okay to be honest. But there's like there is rubber bits in there that are probably past the best. So I'm going to replace what needs to be replaced. Let's have a look at this. See, it rubs against that face there, so I'm going to clean that up, clean everything out, try and get it looking respectable, clean this passage here, because that is blocked up, because that takes an oil, oil feed from the engine, and then, um, look, so you know, clean it all up, there's a fibre washer there, There's a like um, circlip there. Look, can you see a circlip? So that needs to come out. Then that'll pop out. The last time I did one of these, I was a little bit annoyed because I didn't get these bits lined up properly when I put it back together, and I broke that disc. It's like um, a carbon disc, and I managed to break it. So I was a bit annoyed. Okay, right. I'll. I'll show you more when there's more to show. Hello, right. Here's the pump body cleaned up. These are the old parts which I've kind of cleaned up. There's the fibre washer. There's the seal, but the seal has broke into two and the, the spring's quite rusty. There's the um, carbon seal which appears to have worn a bit on those edges there. What I could also see, if you look at these slots, see how that one's nice and square? Can you see how that one's worn there? And that one's worn there, so I don't quite know what's been going on there. But 
So here are the new parts. There's the impeller. Not impala, impeller. There's the shaft, which appears to have a hole drilled in it. And the kit also in included um, like a drive pin. But that must be for a particular type of pulley that has a hole drilled in it, but this mine hasn't. So there's the shaft, there's the impeller. Here's the seal. Boing, you know, which is okay. There's a new fibre washer. And the new um, ceramic, I'm calling it ceramic, probably not ceramic, carbon. This is very brittle. It's not plastic. If you put your tongue on it, it's, it's cold. It feels cold to the touch. I notice that's got like a matte side and a shiny side. I imagine the shiny side goes towards the seal there like that. So I'm going to put it together like that. Okay. And there's the circlip, which there wasn't one in the kit. There's the drive pin. But there wasn't a circlip in the kit, so I'll reuse the circlip from the original one. So first job is to press that into there. So here's the body. What I've done is cleaned it with a wire wheel. And, oh yeah, also in the kit is a new bush, which I'm not going to use because the old one is fine. There's no, put the shaft in there and there's no, there's no perceptible free play. So that's, that's okay. Um, I've cleaned this face, I've cleaned that face. And I've washed the bearing. Oh, and I've cleaned that hole out there as well with a, a long drill. Importantly, the drill doesn't go through the bush. The bush is porous. So the, the drill supplies, the drilling supplies oil, which kind of goes around the outside of the bush and lubricates the bush by it soaking through. I had one where I actually thought, oh, that's something wrong there. I, I drilled it all the way through and it just leaked like crazy, leaked oil like mad. So that's not a good idea. So I'm ready to reassemble this now. Um, it's quite simple. And with that circlip, I can ensure that that is held in that right position there, like I say. I had one before that went out of position and I broke it when I tried to reassemble it. So I will bring you back when there's more to show. Here we are again at the press. There's the press. There's the lever. There's the shaft and the uh, thingy bub impeller. So I'm just going to start. And what I tend to do is to kind of get it going and then just relieve the pressure. Okay, now that's fine. Sometimes it gets going and it, it kind of wants to re... Okay, that's just gone tight there. Which means that the shaft is flush with that end face there. Okay, so let's put the other bits on. So here's the seal, and I've put a tiny little bit of this red stuff on it, just the tiniest little bit. So that goes onto the shaft like that. So this is the carbon uh, sealing element, and this needs to be pressed down so I can put the circlip in. I'm going to go and clean the circlip because it's a bit dirty, it's probably stainless steel, so it's probably as, you know, as good as new. But I'll do that off camera, and I'll come back and I'll show you with it fit, fitted in place. So th this needs to be compressed down, and then the circlip fitted. There is a groove on this, even though there was no circlip in the kit. So you'll get the idea, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So here's 
So here we are then. I uh, the the circ clip has been fitted to the thing. I've cleaned the pulley up with the wire wheel. Looks quite good actually. Um, for any of you that don't realise, this is a, a very sophisticated pressing. This is a single piece of metal that's been kind of folded back on itself and uh, formed into a pulley. You can see like the fold in there. Really very, very impressive for that to be made from a single piece of sheet metal. Oh, plus uh, there's a boss in the middle, of course. That's welded in or pressed in. Okay. So the idea then is this goes into there. And what I'll do, I'll put a little bit of oil on it to lubricate it because it gets engine oil. That goes in there. That goes in there and then this gets pressed over the whole shebang like that. So that's how it will be done. So I'm going to go and do that and then I'll show you how it looks when I'm finished. So there's the um, body with the shaft and the um, fibre washer and I put a tiny bit of that red grease on it and there's the pulley a little bit of red paint in the back there just to um, you know give it a tiny bit of protection better than just bare metal because you can't really paint in there once it's assembled but I'm not going to I'm going to paint these once they're on the engine so there, there's the whole setup I sometimes remember that this this camera is quite zoomed in compared to the the other camera, the action camera, so that's a simple press job on there and basically you press it until it doesn't go any further and this was the point where I broke that um, carbon seal on the other one Okay, I'll have to put the camera down because it's going to fall over when I undo the press. But that rotates freely. Under there there's a, a, a like um, a slot cut in. So if any water does leak it will come out of that slot instead of going into the bearing. That's the theory anyway. Okay. So there we go, there's a pump, rebuilt, there's the other pump, that one will go on. So the next job is to fit these, but that's a job for another day. Okay, thanks very much for joining me in the garage then. Hopefully that might encourage somebody to have a go. It's not very, not very difficult. Okay, thanks a lot then, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye!